Ask the expert, bringing a baby home from the hospital can be stressful for new parents. But it can also be stressful the, for your family pet. And we have an adorable oh, gosh, dog here. I'm yeah. not even a dog person, y'all, and this dog has already got my heart. <laughs> but we have the Humane Society Education Manager, Lori Nolan, here to talk about what the best practices are for bringing your baby and your dog together. Absolutely. So is there anything the family can do prior to bringing the baby home? Yes, that really is the best time to start. You know, you have those nine months and there's a lot you can do in those nine months. Um, and it's a, certainly having a new baby is a new adjustment for everyone, including pets in the home. And what you want to think about is desensitization. So just okay. repeated exposure to, to new things for them. Um, you know, when you think about it, little humans are so different than us. You know, they look mm -hmm. different, they sound different, they smell different. So exposing your animals to as many of those things as you can early on is going to be important. Sounds being a big one. Uh, and that can often be the most frightening oh, thing, you know, okay. for animals and people with a newborn mm -hmm. is just the, the noises that they make. So uh, exposing them to those things is great. I can't imagine any problems with Vanessa and any uh, newborn coming she, into the house. That's right. But once you know, you know, mom's delivered, now you're coming home, what are those steps that you take during that transition? Yeah, absolutely. The big anticipated homecoming. Mm -hmm. uh, what you really want to do first is bring something home that smells like the baby. So uh, maybe a receiving blanket that they were wrapped in or even a hat that was unwashed. You know, our animals identify us more oh. by smell than they ah, do by sight, so okay. let them get used to that smell, but also make sure when mom does come that she comes home first and comes in for the first greeting because oh. she's been away the longest. You want to get that extra energy and excitement out by mom coming in, then bringing baby in, letting the animal approach, uh, and just reward them for positive behavior um, and know that avoidance is okay too, but be ready with your hot dogs, your favorite <laughs> toys um, to get that animal redirected if you need to. And so after the introduction, um, how do you ensure that this all goes smoothly? Once you did the first intro, mm -hmm. the day to day. It's all about maintenance and persistence. You know, if you can keep the routine um, as close to normal as possible. And we all know having a newborn means big demands on your time. But when you do have the time to spend with your pet, uh, make sure that it's really quality time. Quality over quantity, we say. Um, and be ready, you know, with new toys, enrichment things to keep them active. Um, and just make sure that it's, it's around baby, too. When they get praised when baby's around, mm -hmm. they understand that good things happen. And just oh, we quickly. have 10 seconds. Yeah, we I have know. to show Vanessa's face. Well, let's do that. But just one question. Yes, question sir. on this yes, but you know will you notice know something in the first 24 48 hours and if things are not going well yeah you know do you what do you do yeah well I would say first be patient and know that if, if the reaction is not as you wanted it to it's it, give it time but also there's behavior resources the Wisconsin Humane okay. Society has a great team you can call for phone counseling or in person um, and just give us a call if you need some extra help all right and if you need a dog oh, this is Vanessa the dog, says yeah. she is ready to come into your <laughs> home huh Vanessa all right if you have a question Thanks, for our expert email them at ask the expert at today's tmj4.com you can also leave a voicemail at 967-5253 and we'll be right back